You guys remember the prototype games. Let's talk about James Heller. I've talked about him and Alex Mercer on the channel before, but let's talk about their strength and power again. Imagine being a normal man. You get like some crazy virus bullcrap. And you basically get abilities that remind you a lot of symbiotes from Marvel Comics, even though this isn't Marvel or DC Comics at all. His abilities, power, and everything kind of reminds me of Venom and Carnage. He doesn't need his superpowers to be a threat because he's actually a skilled fighter. That's what happens when you're basically a Marine. This is the type of improvisation he's willing to do. He even beat up some infected with a metal bar. He's skilled with using guns and all sorts. He's taken down infected with just guns and skills without strength. Even though he knows he has the strength of disadvantage, he still messes him up. One of his most impressive feats of all time when he didn't have no superpowers, he got an entanglement with Alex Mercer, landed a few hits, died to some hits, knife hits, and everything on Mercer before getting curb stomped. He can make his own shields that are durable enough to withstand rockets that can blow up buildings and even reflect them back. And when he wants to turn them up a notch, he can make them have spikes on them. You ain't getting through that defense. He can pretty much inject you with some bull crap to make you like a literal bomb infected type of nasty virus type horror movie type stuff. Not to mention throughout this video, every feat he gets closer to the end of the game, he's actually getting stronger as time goes by because he kills stuff and then absorbs it after he kills them. Getting their power, strength, and memories. It is confirmed in the game's lore that every living thing you consume makes you stronger, you take their shapes, and you take their memories. And considering all the different entities I'm showing you him defeat, not only is he already strong enough to defeat them, but he then absorbs their power and mass on top of his strength. I mean, he's the guy that can walk through bullets and not even flinch when they're just lightening them up with AK-47s and everything. Thing, they just all bounce off of him saying he has super strength is an understatement he has that super speed he can make his arms and stuff into stuff like whips big giant blades basically his personal sword it's almost like he's like death strike or has his own wolverine claws one of the things that makes him versatile is his ability to stretch with tendril type of attacks to give his body and combat more versatility he might not be the biggest entity in this universe, but he's definitely at the top of the food chain. He's already strong with blunt punches, but he can make give himself bladed type of combat and piercing force. Like we already know he's strong enough to lift up big guns like this that used to be on tanks and stuff. Can even just manually lift up missile launchers. Not afraid to mess up airborne stuff like helicopters or tanks. So you're probably wondering what kind of heavy stuff does he constantly lift up? Lifting up cars and tanks is another day in life. Not only that, throw them far. This guy I can rip this big gun off a tank and then slam it and mess up the tank. He can do this to freaking tanks and rip them up and slam other stuff on them. James Heller is considered a being what you would call the evolved that are nowhere near as strong as him can do this to vehicles. We've seen him literally punch helicopters with a with a shuriken. He's that strong in cutscene type stuff to make a big shockwave to send tanks in the air. Whatever Alex Mercer can do. James Heller can do like throwing tanks with one arm with ease. So yeah, he probably can lift over 200 tons with ease. Since we already know him and Alex Mercer are the god tiers of the verse. Let me just do a montage of him messing up the other beings in this universe since we already know he can match Alex Mercer himself. One example is beings that he faces like the behemoth who's as big as certain small buildings. And these beings this big are considered low tier when it comes to James Heller and Alex Mercer. Even entities like the brawler. We've seen them. Do this to an a Goliath, despite the size difference, he can do it with his bare hands. Big bull crap like this, he can beat it and absorb their power as well. These different entities, he just straight up bullies. No matter how they get beat, they just lose all the time. Not to mention he can increase the size of his fist to make them a bit more dense. All these entities are considered a joke to him. There's a reason why it's not that many James Hellers and Alex Mercers, but it's a whole bunch of these minions, their fodder. One can say they're like stormtroopers. There's just so many of them because they have no value. Some beings he doesn't even mind ripping in half with his strength. These beings get their heads crushed with straight hammer. Military helicopters, he can just rip the door open. These super enhanced soldiers, he can break the grip out of and rip off the launcher. Like I already said already, this big bull crap, he can rip this thing's head off. Sometimes he might decide to use some claws when he's facing this hydra looking infected thing. Now that we establish how strong these creatures are, he's making men's meat out of. How strong are these entities he's completely destroying? Him doing this to a Goliath, for example, is impressive considering the mass and size of it. The Goliath itself had to weigh at least over hundreds of tons based on his size, and Heller can rip him apart. So right off gate, he can pull, punch, or strike. 
with over hundreds of tons of force. It's impressive that he's able to match Mercer this good in Slugfest no matter what. Heller has gotten ridiculously strong. In the middle of the game, he couldn't even take him on, so it shows that Heller did get stronger as time went by. It's confirmed in the lore when it comes to the food chain, Alex Mercer's at the very top. I mean, Heller being able to match this guy is way more impressive than anything else. Other Evolved that have similar abilities to them, they're just on a weaker level than James Heller and Alex Mercer. Alex Mercer literally absorbed eight different beings that have similar powers as him, and they all can lift hundreds of freaking tons. At this point, he's actually getting their strength and everything, speed and all that stuff, and he's still able to hang with them regardless. You can see plenty of occasions during this fight where Alex Mercer them two battling and slugging it together. He can parry attacks from Alex Mercer with his shields. Yeah. Especially considering that Alex Mercer absorbed eight different beings that are like him. Not to mention all the random humans he's absorbed too. Heller still was able to do that. Stop all these attacks. No arm for you. Parry this attack in a contest of strength. If eight different evolved got all their strength, power, and speed put into Alex Mercer and Heller is still able to match his strength physically, all of them beings that can lift 100 tons all put into Alex Mercer, he has to be able to lift at least 1,000 tons being generous. We don't even know how strong he really is, but this is just a bare bones minimum. And if Alex Mercer can lift that much, James Heller could definitely do that or even more considering he absorbed Alex Mercer and gained his power as well as consuming him. He got so much biomass, he could stretch so long to the point where he could stretch throughout the entire city on some skyscraper type length, absorbing all this BS on top of it. Yo, that's kind of crazy. All that biomass he absorbed and can stretch. Like we know Alex Mercer absorbed all those different Evolve, but it's almost like James Heller did that because he absorbed the guy that absorbed the Evolve and matched his strength before even absorbing Mercer. Man, how do we even know what the limit to this guy is? For all we know, he could be in a million ton range for all we know. Your theories are more than welcome in the comments below though. We know he can slice up helicopters or literally just straight up one shot them. I almost feel bad for these helicopters on how bad he just takes them down and goes to them like they're butter. Like his claws are way too durable. They're just getting sliced up. He can just go straight blunt force mode and make big shockwaves like that. I mean, when we're talking about crowd control, he can slam and smash up this many people in the vicinity. Getting punched by James Heller is like getting hit by an entire building. Rocket launchers is this kind of stuff that can take down buildings. He can shrug those off with his shields and he can punch beings like Alex Mercer who have that level of durability, even overpower him and even absorb his power. All this biomass he accumulated, being able to stretch all the way around the city, like around all these places. One can make the argument that have as much biomass as a building or a skyscraper or a few skyscrapers, considering there's some weights of buildings that can weigh over 500,000, 300,000, 200,000 of tons. But I gotta admit, that's pure speculation. But considering that we literally seen him on panel show all that level of biomass to pretty much cover almost the entire city with tendrils, it kind of lets you know how much power he has consumed within his body via biomass. How hard do you think he can hit after absorbing Alex Mercer? What do you think the limits of him are after absorbing Mercer? Who's going to be his new villain or threat for future games? I don't even know if they can make a sequel if they wanted to. News One has confirmed that a nuclear weapon of unknown origin has detonated 10 to 15 miles offshore of southern Manhattan. Estimates place it at roughly five times the size of the bomb dropped at Hiroshima. Alex Mercer, for example, was able to survive nuclear bombs that strong, five times levels of nuclear raw power. It doesn't ev evaporate them into nothingness, and these beings can still survive and regenerate by consuming after an explosion that crazy. Which means you can shoot a missile at Heller, and it's not a guaranteed win. A missile that can level cities. What do you think? Do you respect James Heller and Alex Mercer? Are they ridiculously powerful? Do you think it's possible they should do a sequel, or do you think they should do a reboot? I don't see where they were going to go after this one. But you got to respect these prototype characters. What do you guys think? Before I get going, I got to say thanks for the donations, guys. Respect James Heller. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys later.